Hello everyone, if you're stuck for a book to read at the moment, um, and especially if you like a series of books, I would really recommend this series of books. Um, the first one is The Wizards of Once. The second is Twice Magic. And the third is Knock Three Times. They're by the author, Cressida Cowell, who wrote the How to Train Your Dragon series. They're nothing to do with the How to Train Your Dragon series, they're completely new. Um, and they are a magical story about um, wizards and warriors. Inside the book, you will find the most amazing artwork. So all in pencil throughout black and white. Um, there are illustrations on nearly every page. Uh, the story is about two main characters. I'll show you them here. So you have here Zar and Wish. So it says here that this is a story with two heroes. The boy Zar is from a magical tribe. He is a wizard, but he has no magic and he will do anything to get it. The girl Wish is from a warrior tribe, but she owns a banned magical object and she will do anything to conceal it. fantastic map so that you can then follow the um, character's journey here. It's a really detailed map. You know how much I love a map. So I'm just going to read you the first couple of pages. So this is the prologue, the part that just before, sets the scene of the story just before the story starts. Um, Wizards of Once, I can't remember whether I've told you or not yet, but um, Wizards of Once is um, in the Silver Star section of Accelerator Reader in the school library. And this is a 6.5, and then the other two are a 6.6 .6 and a 6.8. Might be a bit tricky for some of you in Key Stage 2, um, but there's still no reason why you can't enjoy the story and pass the quiz. Um, the story has quite a few tricky words, especially made up names of characters and places. But if you were to read this story a little bit like we do in guided reading, along with an adult at home or an older brother or sister, um, then you should easily be able to follow the book and enjoy it. I, lo I absolutely love these stories and they're very funny there's a really funny character in, in, in the book but I'm not going to tell you too much because I don't want to spoil it so I'm going to read you the prologue once there was magic once there was magic it was long 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 ago in a British Isle so old it did not know it was the British Isles yet and the magic lived in the dark forests perhaps you feel that you know what a dark forest looks like well, I can tell you right now that you don't. These were forests darker than you would believe possible, darker than ink spots, darker than midnight, darker than space itself, and as twisted and as tangled as a witch's heart. They were what is known as wild woods and they stretched as far in every direction as you can possibly imagine, only stopping when they reached a sea. There were as many types of humans living in the wild woods, the wizards, who were magic, and the warriors, who were not. The wizards had lived in the wild woods for as long as anyone could remember, and they were intending to live there forever, along with all the other magic things, until the warriors came. The warriors invaded from across the seas, and though they had no magic, they brought a new weapon that they called iron and iron was the only thing that magic could not work on. The warriors had iron swords and iron shields and iron armor, and even the horrifying magic the witches had was powerless against this metal. First, the warriors fought the witches and drove them into extinction in a long and terrible battle. 
nobody cried for the witches, for witches were bad magic, the worst sort of magic. The kind of magic that tore wings from larks and killed for fun and could end the world and everyone in it. But the warriors did not stop there. The warriors thought that just because some magic was bad, that meant that all magic was bad. So now the warriors were trying to get rid of the wizards too, and the ogres, and the werewolves, and the untidy quarrelling mess of good sprites and bad sprites that burned like little stars through the darkness, casting mischievous spells on each other, and the giants who moved slow and careful through the undergrowth, larger than mammoths and peaceable as babies. The warriors had sworn that they would not rest until they had destroyed every last bit of magic in the whole of that dark forest, which they were chopping down as fast as they could with their iron axes to build their forts and their fields and their new modern world. So inside the book here we have um, a poster. It says, you have now entered the Iron Warrior Empire. All magic is banned in this territory. No sprites, no giants, no rogue. Ro